That's the thing about being an adult. You cry about it and you get right back to business. Hold on, hold on. Speed it up. Hold on. Speed it up. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea if you're new and welcome back to another vlog. Today is going to be like a daily vlog. We got a lot of things to get done today. And I'm excited about it. I kind of sometimes like daily vlogging because it makes me more productive. I know that I have to get a lot of things done within a short amount of time. So today we're going to be trying yoga, at home yoga. I bought all this stuff for yoga probably like in January. Have not used it, have not looked at it. So we're going to be trying yoga. We also got to do some returns to Sephora. Today is the last day of the Sephora VIB sale. So I want to make sure I get that stuff um, returned and pick up the new things that I want and I can be done with Sephora for a while now because I've been shopping at sale since it started. Also, I need to go to Target. So I need to pick up some things. I discovered last night that we're out of like washing powder. So I need to get some washing powder and just a bunch of other things. So if you're interested, definitely make sure you stick around. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing. So do y'all remember the Tabitha Brown um, cookbook? Stop Mufasa. Y'all remember the Tap of the Brown cookbook? We're about to make something. I'm super excited. Um, obviously, she's vegan, so everything in her book is vegan as well. So I'm gonna make it like kind of like my way. But here's the book. Okay, so I know it's in a ooh, Philly cheese steak hoggy. Lemon pepper potato wedges. Wait, that that kind of look good. Let me get, okay, yeah, it's in the sweet streets. This is it right here, the chocolate banana toast. Let me show y'all the picture. Look at this. Yes, we're about to make this. Like I said, everything in this book is vegan, so her ingredients are different from mine. Um, for the chocolate, she has vegan chocolate hummus spread, of course, banana, um, strawberries. So, and she's using vegan cinnamon raisin bread. I actually did go look for this bread in the store, but I could not find it, so I'm gonna use regular bread. And the instructions are simple, just very, very simple. Toast the bread, spread the chocolate on there, slice the banana, sprinkle some cinnamon, and put, um, put them together and cut it, and then put strawberries on top. So, super duper simple. I feel like if you want to make this like healthier, you could do this on a rice cake. And I think the rice cake would be even better because it got like that crunch to it. that was gonna be like a little workout for real oh my god but I feel good like I really enjoyed those stretches of course I'm using somebody who made a video for beginners I'll have it linked down below if y'all are interested her name is Tony Mitchell um 
And I'm pretty sure I wasn't doing everything right. I'm not flexible, so it's kind of hard to bend over with your legs straight and touch your toes. I'm just not there yet, but I did what I could. And I want to do that more often. I bought this yoga mat, so I do want to use it. And I enjoyed that. This was just a 13 minute video, but if you're a beginner like me, girl, them 13 minutes gonna kick your butt. It's 11.43, um, I think I'm gonna do a little makeup today. Before I head out the house, I'm gonna put on like a little bit of makeup. And we're probably gonna go to Sephora first to do this return. And then also pick up the things I wanna pick up because today is the last day of the sale. So, yeah. So I was going to sit here and make like a cute montage of me like doing my makeup, which I still might add some pieces of, you know, like a little montage, but I just got so much on my mind. Oh my goodness. If my face looks like a white shadow, that milk um primer tends to do that. But I'm just so anxious, y'all. Like... I think in the last vlog, I told y'all I applied for the apartment. I feel like that was like Thursday. Today's Monday, so this was the day that I'm kind of like looking to hear something back. And I'm just so nervous about it. All right. I'm super nervous, and I really don't know why. Hold on, I can't talk during this part. Hold on. I'm not going to sit here and bore y'all with my um, anxious rants. But I, I'm just... And honestly, I wish like... I really wish I knew how to just turn it off. Like, I've been trying to calm myself down. Like, Chelsea, girl, chill. Like, wh what has you so anxious? Like, what's the matter? I really be trying to, like, this is something that I got from out of this, like, Sephora favorites thing. This little Sephora favorites pack. It had this um, Mario plumping. I'm about to try this. Yeah, I know I love plump and stuff. Mm. So let's see what that's giving. It looks a mess. <laughs> but I'm going to wipe it off. But yes, I just, I really just be trying to calm myself down. Like, girl, relax. Relax, relax. Because to be honest, no matter what the outcome is, you're going to be fine. <laughs> relax and I just I, I just can't I just really can't I just be on 10 I just feel like they should call me I just like why haven't you called me it's Monday <laughs> but nobody told me I would receive a call on Monday I made all this up in my hand in my head y'all when I go to put my foundation on I cannot have earrings in my ear that's like one of my biggest pet peeves it grosses me out so much but mm-hmm Makeup is done. I don't have any lashes on because I don't have any. But I did use y'all. My lashes are baby. But I did use the um their real mascara and I did what I could. Okay. I did what I could. This is what we're looking like. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go over the stuff I'm gonna return to Sephora and why. Girl, where is the stuff? And then after that, we're going to get dressed. Okay, let me find the stuff first. Okay. Found the bag. So, first and foremost is this House Labs found I mean, This House Labs blush in the color Watermelon Bliss. To be honest, there was nothing wrong with this blush. I think it's a beautiful shade. I love this blush, but I'm not going to use it. I have my favorite products right now and I'm just kind of not switching out on them right now my favorite blushes are these two put these two put together this is the MAC full fuchsia I love with this blush right now and I love to top it off with this Dior blush in pink it looks like it may be ashy but I tell you this is so pretty on the skin I really just enjoy putting it on top of that full fuchsia and I love the way it looks I'm not going to use this and then Besides those two blushes, I have so many more. The thing I'm returning is this Dior lip gloss. I didn't like this color. This is the Intense Rosewood. Um, I just didn't like it. 
it's so weird because I don't really like super pigmented lip glosses. It's the weirdest thing. Like, I like my glosses to kind of be like sheer, like still have that color, but be kind of sheer. Next thing I'm returning are these two Sephora lip glosses. I haven't even opened this one. This one is a plumping one in this pink color. And then this is another one in this pink color. The reason why I'm returning these is because right now, um, when I purchased these, I also purchased a lip treatment by Ami, Ami Cole. I'm obsessed, y'all. I'm going to return these to get like two more of those for backup. I have it on now. So pretty. I'm just obsessed. Like, that's the only thing I want to use. That's the only thing I'm reaching for right now. So, that and I like the um, Summer Fridays lip balm. So, these two are just kind of like unnecessary. And the last thing I'll return it is this um, Makeup by Mario lip gloss, I believe. No, um, Moisture Glow plumping lip color. I'm just not a fan of these. I really didn't like it. That's what I'm returning. What I'm buying, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to give it much thought. Though I am going to buy, I know I'm going to get another one of these. Because, oh God, I hope they have my shade. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. If you don't have this in your makeup routine, then your makeup routine is trash. Because this is the best stuff ever. Like, point blank period. But this one, I'm missing my freaking top. Like, I, I don't understand. This one right here has the top but as you can see girl we we don't hit pan on this one so i'm gonna get another one i'm gonna keep this one with me but when i'm traveling i'm gonna put the brand new one in my travel bag because traveling with this is just a disaster waiting to happen all right so i ended up putting on some jeans and just a shirt sit y'all right here scent of the day bond number nine nomad Here's the outfit. I've been on my like scissor kick so hard lately. It's like all I listen to is like the album just came out and it did not. <laughs> Why do y'all look like that? Like y'all off. Is that better? I don't know. I can tell you one thing. It's hotter than a month. Yeah. Alright, let's try to hook up this car play child. It be acting weird. It work when it wanna work and it don't work when it don't wanna work. Come on, I need you to work today because I wanna listen to my music. I wanna listen to Scissor! Girl. I'm just <laughs> I can't even take myself serious right now like dead serious I'm just not in a good mood today I'm just really really not and I'm proud of myself because I've done so much with this shitty mood like I got up I did my makeup, we're out the house doing things we need to do today. And there's so many more things I want to get done today. But I'm really just not in a good mood. I'm feeling so many different emotions. I feel like there's so many things happening in my life right now. And it's just, it has me like overstimulated. Like it's just so many thoughts. So like so many, so many thoughts, so many things. <sighs> It's a lot like it, it's really really a lot i just want to like go wash my face and lay down in my bed like that's just where i'm at i just want to lay down i just want to lay down but i can't because i'm an adult i still have to work i still have to do everything i need to do like i, I gotta i gotta get it together and i've realized which is so interesting to me i've just recently like learn this about myself but i'm one of those type of people like when i'm going through stuff i really don't want to talk like because i'm not one of those type of people to just just talk about all my shit like everything i have going on i'm a very 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 to myself type of person it takes a lot for me to open up and to just talk about my emotions with people 
Like, I just really don't be doing that. Like, I just really, really, really don't be doing that. And it takes a lot for me to do that. So I'd rather just, like, not talk to nobody. But I've realized that when I feel like I have things going on, I become more distant. And I think that's a real interesting observation that I picked up. I just really don't want to talk because, girl, what we talking about? <laughs> It's just a lot of emotions. Y'all, it's so many people outside today. I've been sitting here parked for like 15 minutes. <laughs> and I've just seen so many people walk by. And I'm just like, whoa. Let me fix my attitude. Because I have to be amongst humans that have done nothing to me. So, let's drink some water. Let's get out this car. Okay, so leaving out of Sephora, I paid $43 with the exchange, so not too shabby. <sighs> I'm gonna show y'all what I got. Oh, also, y'all, I decided I was gonna have a good day regardless, so I'm gonna have a good day regardless. It's so hot though. And what did I do with my phone? Okay. Just plug the phone up. Can we switch positions? You don't never listen, no. Oh. Okay. This is. Why are my windshield wipers going in the bag? Okay. So, Sephora haul. I exchanged, um, I showed y'all the stuff I was taking back. Also, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? I do need to still place an order online because, um, the way dog shampoo is like an online exclusive. And I also want to, I'm probably not going to worry about it, but I kind of do want to get the way, um, hand soap and hand lotion and it's an online exclusive as well so i may order that tonight i don't know but i got this refi brush this was just a random purchase i was over there looking for the um the laminate and stuff i have been seeing a few girls try out like the brow laminating thing from refi so i wanted to try it out but they didn't have it so Ended up picking up this brush. This take me back to like OG makeup days, like a stippling brush. I haven't used a stippling brush in so long and I don't know. Girl, I thought I seen powder come out this brush. I'm like, who the hell use this? <laughs> but just a simple brush stippling on this side and then I don't know what I would use that side for. I really like makeup brushes, especially since it's very far and in between when I wash mine. I constantly be buying makeup brushes and then told y'all I was going to get another one of these powders. Um, trying out this. I'm very excited about this. Um, usually when I come to Sephora, I don't wear makeup so I'm able to like swatch things on me. But I do have makeup on today so I wasn't able to swatch this. But this is the Ami Cole Skin Enhancing Tint. So it's just like a skin tint. So I'm excited to try this out. It wasn't like a huge range of colors, but hopefully this matches me. You get two of the lip treatments and bliss. I love this stuff so much. It's so pretty and I just love it. So I got that. And I got from Sephora. Now we're going to go to Target because I think I told y'all earlier in this vlog, girl, we don't have nothing to wash our clothes with. This clip is so cute. Like, I can't see, and you can't see the like, clip right there. I think that'd be cute. That's only $5. These are so cute, y'all. I haven't seen these in Target yet. And they have two of them. Mm -hmm. Wish I was moving right now. Like, I wonder how, you know how like, you know how like you have a desk in your office and then in front of the desk is like two chairs? 
I wonder how those would look. I just think these are so cute. Like, I can't stop looking at it. So cute. I'm going to give this a try. I've been seeing it and seeing it and seeing it. I'm going to give it a try. I'm definitely an Arm & Hammer type of girl. Through and through. When it comes to fabric softener, I'll switch it up. Sometimes I'll get downy. Sometimes I'll get Suavitel. They don't have the blue Suavitel that I like though. Let me smell the purple. This purple is not it at all. Ew. Let me smell this one. This cup describes me like period. <laughs> I actually do need more disinfectant wipes. This section has been very underwhelming lately. I don't know if I told y'all, but I bought a, a new little light for my camera. This one you kind of like screw onto the top, so let me do it. Let me turn it on. Ooh. <laughs> Oh god, y'all are going dead. I'll have this one linked. Um, I like this one a little bit better only because you can screw it onto the top. I like my other light better because it has this like warm and cool, like half warm, half cool setting to where it's just not all like this bright white light. But this one is cool. Um, I'm about to drive home and listen to me some true crime because my girl Kendall just uploaded so. Kate Castor, who is known as the Black Widow. The incredibly manipulative story of Stacey Castor's life begins in 1985 when she was 17 years old. Y'all, it's the best time of the day. It's finally time to take this off. Oh, oh I did want to mention, I think this new light, which I'm using right now, I think it lasts longer than the light that um, I had before, so... That's another pro to this light. I definitely feels like I definitely feel like it lasts longer. But I'm about to take my makeup off, take me a shower, and then y'all, I found this little healthy tree on Instagram. Let me show y'all because I saved it. Let's make healthy three ingredient chocolate strawberry bites. Mix strawberries and Greek yogurt together. Add dollops onto a plate, line with parchment paper. Let's set in the freezer. Give it melted dark chocolate and enjoy. Let's make healthy three ingredient chocolate strawberry bites. Some of that don't look so good. I need to get some dark chocolate. Um, Cause I only have milk chocolate and white chocolate. So I need to get some dark chocolate. Because dark chocolate is healthier for you than milk chocolate or white chocolate. So yeah, we're going to be making those. And don't ask me how I got in the bed. Just, just don't. I'm just taking a break. I'm just taking a break. After washing my face, taking me a shower, I'm just taking a little break. Skin looks good though. <laughs> I'm sitting here, y'all. One thing about me, I love to watch people on live. I don't know what it is, but I love to watch people on live. Especially like TikTok live. TikTok live is my favorite because people just be on there doing shit. Like, you might be on one person's thing. And they washing dishes. The next person doing somebody hair. The next person cutting their hair. Like you never know like what you're going to get. And I just love that. Just chilling. Watching people on live. And then I'll probably get up in a little bit. And make the um the little healthy snack. Because it looks so good. And I really want to do it. Good morning. It is 7.34 in the morning. April 25th, y'all. <laughs> Yesterday, I was having such a bad day. Like, I, I did try my best to, like, just be optimistic and turn it around. Why did I wake up to this morning? Why did I wake up this morning to my cycle? I swear I cannot make this shit up. I'm not, like... I am not like a crier. I'm not one of those people that just be deep in my emotions and my feelings. But yesterday, I was just like, what's happening? Like, any problem I had in my life yesterday was just at the top of my brain, y'all. I was so anxious. I was so, 
I was getting on my own nerves because I'm like, girl, what's wrong? Like, what is wrong with you? What's wrong? And I just could not figure it out. And when I woke up this morning at like 6 o'clock and I went to use the bathroom, I was like, I know you fucking lying. Because it makes no sense. Like, girls, I need y'all to sound off in the comments because it got to be some scientific shit behind this. Because how is it, it even... Y'all remember I was trying to yoga out because I was telling y'all, I don't know if I told y'all, but my back was killing me the other day. And I'm just like, bro, what is going on with me? Like, I can't control my emotions. My back is hurt. Like, what's happening? Like, what, what is happening to me? You, really? And it's like, now that I know what's going on. I could be gentle with myself now. I, I I know what's happening. You know, I could really talk myself through it. Tell myself it's not that deep. But yesterday, it's just like, I didn't know what was wrong with me. Like, I'm just like, damn, bro. Like, why? And, and I didn't record, like, all of how I was feeling yesterday. Because it was a lot, y'all. Like, it was a lot. Like, I just had a bad attitude. I was in a bad head space. Everything was just bad, 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 bad. And I never want to, like, sometimes I do get on here and express, yeah, I'm not having a good day, whatever the case may be. But yesterday was a lie. Like, it was too much for me. Like, you ever just do so much, you get on your own nerves? That's how I was yesterday. And I just kept trying to, like, check in with myself, like, Chelsea, what's the matter? No, no matter what the matter was, it's not that deep. I'm trying to tell myself, like, girl, it's not that serious. Like, and I tried to, like, play, like, oh... I haven't heard from the apartment, like, girl, you care, but you don't care that damn much. Like, what the fuck is going on here? I just can't believe it. I I just cannot believe it. I'm telling you, girl, please. It's ridiculous, y'all. It's it's really it's 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 a sickness. It's it's a, and you know what, like. I be on Twitter. I don't know if y'all really be on Twitter, but it be some deep stuff on Twitter. One time I came across this thread of like girls even having like suicidal thoughts like days before their menstrual started. Like that shit is no joke. That that is real serious stuff. Like it must be some type of like chemical imbalance that happens cuz I'm telling you like the way you be feeling the thoughts you be having, it's just like, what is wrong with me? Like, I wasn't having no suicidal thoughts or nothing, but I was just, like, really emotional yesterday. And I am not, like, at my core who I am. I'm not a real emotional person. So, I'm just like, what the? Is it, is it my annual cry time like, happening? Anyways, it was just my cycle. It, it, and just like that, my back don't hurt. I'm in a great mood. Like, I'm happy. Um, so yeah, today we're going to make that um thing I was telling y'all about. And I'm glad I waited till today because we can get a dark chocolate. Yeah, today's gonna be a great day. I'm about to take me a little quick shower. Um I already washed my face, washed my teeth, and did all that. I hate when I like wash my face and then get in the shower because naturally I like to put water on my face in the shower, like just to wipe my face. I don't know. So I hate when I do my skincare first. But it is what it is. I will be back. Um, Here's the water cup of the day. I got this Starbucks cup a while ago, y'all. It's so cute. Here's the fit. Is the Skims outfit and um. This robe is from Walmart. Hmm. I like, can y'all see me? The light is so bright, I can't even see if y'all can see me. But I like to put this little thing on when I'm doing my makeup. So I hate for makeup to get in my edges, like. Makeup is done. I'm going to actually see y'all a little bit later when we go get those crabs because I'm about to record a video, but makeup is done. I really like that. Where is it? Mm. 
I don't know where it's at right now, but the skin tint, it looks nice. Well, the first stop is going to be to the gas station because, honey, we don't have no gas. Every spot is taken at the gas station and nobody is moving. So we're going we gonna, to we gonna see how far these 35 miles can get us because I don't understand. Like, okay, he about, he about to move. But I need to. Hold on, y'all. I got to whip it. I keep this hand sanitizer in my car and I really like it. Not only does it smell good, but it actually does like moisturize your hands. So like after you're pumping gas or whatever the case may be, you can just put some on. I really didn't want to start buying stuff before I moved, but I told y'all I wanted an espresso. This one comes with everything, y'all. $149, this costs like $250. I have to get this. I thought my makeup looked good, but I was sadly mistaken. I look like a damn tomato. A tomato. Where's the new checkers at? I'm finna show y'all the stuff I got from TJ Maxx. I literally just hung up the phone with her. Why aren't you answering? Let me find out she called somebody else that quick. Girl, why you not? Y'all, yeah, I took my makeup off as soon as I got home and put my cozy clothes back on. Okay, whatever. I don't got time for that. So, I'm going to show you all the stuff I got. Some of the stuff I got from TJ Maxx. Y'all seen I got that Nespresso machine. And it came with like the frother. Super cool. Super good deal. I left it downstairs. Because <laughs> I, I don't need it right now. So, I just left it in the trunk. But these earrings. How freaking cute are these earrings? Got some honey pot pads. I know a lot of people really don't care for these. Because they got that like menthol feeling to them. But personally me i like that so these are the um honey pot organic cotton overnight pads i got those and y'all i bought some glasses i'm not gonna open this stuff up until i move but i bought it started because i got the nespresso and then after i got the nespresso i found the cutest little espresso glasses so let me show y'all y'all how freaking cute this is so cute and then this is the pack it came with four of these for only $7.99 some other glasses because I just could not help myself now these were $24.99 and it's only four of these but they were just so cute so they're like these ribbed fluted glasses well champagne flutes and they have like this gold trimming at the top so cute right so cute i can see myself like drinking some champagne sitting on my floor in my new apartment oh, cheers <laughs> yeah these were cute I, I i wish they were more like 12.99 but it is what it is of glasses this is just like a everyday type of glass and they were cheap too this was an eight pack for ten dollars these are just like these super cute and this is what the bottom of it look like I thought these were cute so yeah I'm gonna be getting rid of a lot of glasses because I have so many glasses y'all but I'm gonna be getting rid of a lot of them let me show y'all what we working with this is where I like keep all of my glassware look at all this so yeah, I'm going to be getting rid of, rid of a few things and adding a few things to the collection. Y'all, so 
I've been sitting right here editing for about an hour because the vlog y'all watching today, that's what I was just sitting here editing because it's going up in live today. And my last two uploads, I was uploading so late and I definitely paid for it with my last upload. Like, it did so bad. Say this video is getting a similar amount of views as usual, but it's not. They're lying and I don't know why. But nothing is good on that video. I knew it wasn't going to do like as good as my videos had been doing. Because it was only 39 minutes. And YouTube like long videos. And obviously y'all like long videos too. So it just overall didn't do good. But I'm so dedicated to my posting schedule. That i rather post when I'm supposed to post. Like I don't know. I don't know like I just I just really like having my schedule and sticking to my schedule so although I posted late I still posted when I was supposed to post and if y'all don't know because some of y'all may not know my posting schedule is like this is when I like to post Sundays Thursdays and so Tuesday Tuesday Thursday and Sunday those are the days I like to post it's Tuesday and I want to definitely post on my posting day it was something else I was about to say. Oh, that vlog ended up being shorter because if you watch that vlog, it kind of like ended abruptly. Y'all had got food poisoning. It was like a 24-hour bug and that shit was trying to take me out. Like, it was really, really, really trying to take me out. Um, The next day, which was Sunday, I just spent, like Saturday and Sunday, I just spent those days like in the bed trying to recover because girl... That thing really was trying to take me out. So, yeah, I wasn't able to do as much in that vlog because your girl was down and out. But right now, I'm about to get up and we're about to finally, for real this time, make the little treat because I want it. And I'm actually hungry. In that last vlog, I did go to Trader Joe's, so I got a bunch of, like, processed food. All right, y'all. We got our bowl. I cut up some strawberries and blueberries. We're just going to put them in there. Alright y'all, I don't know how these going to turn out because I didn't have no parchment paper. So, I just, are they connecting? No. I'm going to put them in the freezer for two hours, how you're supposed to do, and then we're going to see. All right, y'all. So, this is how it came out. They don't look the best. I'm going to have to try them again, but let's, and they kind of, all right, so I'm going to break mine how she did. See, oh, this is what it looked like. <laughs> the horrible angle. Mmm. <laughs> the taste is a one. Mm. Mm. You get that chocolate with the fruit. And the yogurt. It's really good. That's good. Alright, thanks for calling. Have a great night. Thank you. Bye. That sounds like a whole bunch of bullshit. That's the after hours call. They can't do nothing. Well, I have to go to sleep for the remainder of the day because I'm upset. I have to talk to you later. Mm. Bye. I am so annoyed. Like, I just do not understand why this just has to be so difficult. I... I don't get it so 
I'm chilling. Me and my mom and my sister was just on through. And my mom ended up getting off the phone. It was just me and my sister. I get an email from the apartments. Finally. Denied. Who? Denied? Excuse me? I'm looking to see. Because they sent. Like why would you be denied? I guess you could be denied for several reasons. Maybe background. Um credit score or income verification so they sent back the credit score had our credit scores on there it wasn't the credit score they're saying income verification is the reason why we're denied this is where you got me fucked up at because i'm overqualified for this fucking apartment you know what i mean not even to even take it there but come on now like let's be for real it's when i was doing the application it was this process, and my sister was here when I was doing it, too, because, like, y'all know how, like, people be with their mamas. Like, let me call my mama. Let me call my mama. That's how I am about my sister. Like, let me call my sister. So, I specifically waited till she, like, got here so I can do the application, make sure I'm doing everything right. You know what I mean? So, when it came to, like, the income verification part, these specific apartments, they have it to where you can um, hook your bank up. So they want you to hook your bank up. And I guess when you hook your bank up, that's how they're able to verify the income. Well, it just kept reading like error, 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 error. And then finally, it I think it said like um, my bank was hooked up or whatever. So I didn't think nothing else about it until you just came back and said this. And it's just... It's just really stressing me out because I just don't understand why. It's 7.13 at night why couldn't this happen two hours ago so i can call their ass because i'm so annoyed like i'm just this whole process is just so it's it's too much dog like it is too much and i'm just nervous like i don't know much about like apartments and how this works like do you have to like can they go in and can they fix this like how does this work you know what i mean i thought this lot was going up today but it's not because i gotta go to bed i'm just i gotta go to bed good morning um i don't feel good this morning my stomach hurts really bad and I'm pretty sure I left off last night talking about um, being denied for the apartment. So I'm just really, really, really not in a good mood. I'm anxious as fuck. The apartment complex open at 9 o'clock. It's 8.58. I don't want to be the first one calling their phone at 9. So I'm going to try to give it a few minutes. Um, this is what I hope happened. I hope that I can explain the situation because if I didn't explain to y'all, the situation basically is I did the application. The application was giving me a problem from the beginning. I was having to call her to um, tell her about like the little stuff that was happening. Like it was just little things happening. So when I got past that part um, and I had to like hook my bank up, that part was acting like really weird as well. And I just couldn't figure out like what was going on. It kept saying like error. It just wasn't working. It just it just wasn't working. So eventually it let me like I guess it hooked up. I thought it hooked up. Um and it let me finish the application. I paid. That was that. And then that's when the waiting game started. So when the application came back yesterday as denied and it said because of I guess they couldn't verify income, I'm like the bank never hooked up. It never hooked up for me. It never hooked up for Dion. So it looks like there's just no, you know, income. My hopes are some type of way. I'm going to ask. I don't. My hopes are some type of way they can go in. I can hook it up. They can verify it. And we can move on. That Those are my hopes. Those, those are my hopes. And I'm just... Not me about to cry. <laughs> I'm just so... Oh. I'm really trying not to cry. But I'm just so annoyed, you know? Like, why can't this just be an easy process? 
I have other things I need to focus on right now. I don't need to be focusing on this. This should be a very easy process. And then yesterday, I don't even think I told y'all, but my apartments that I'm living in right now, they're sending their renewal letters. Rent's going up another $200. Last year, it went up $300. This year, it's going up $200. And I'm like, I'm not living here. Like, I'm not staying here. So don't even send me. It's not on one, y'all. I'm just so I'm just it's just so much this is way too much adulting for me and then on top of that my stomach is hurting so bad I'm about to call because at the end of the day I don't care about being aggravating I need to figure out what's going on you know? may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance. Update. Um, they're in the meeting to 10 o'clock, so I'm going to wait till 10. I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait till 10. I feel like I've calmed down some. I feel like I'm not as like nervous. Look at look at my cups I just bought last night. Yesterday. Look at my glasses back there. I bought yesterday for my new apartment. <laughs> I'm just really I'm I'm really just gonna calm down. I'm gonna pray. Cause here's the thing. Here's the thing, like Thing, things have to happen. It's just how it goes. Like, back to when I did go to church, the sermon was really about like how how God allows things to happen, but you still got to give him the praise. You know what I mean? Like God allows things to happen and he allows the devil to do things as well. And when good things happen, you have to know like, Basically, you got to know like where your help come from and when and when it's time to be congratulated You got to know that God did it for real. You know a lot of times people look at their self and they're just like they're self-made They did this on their own blah 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 Never me. I know one thing about me two things for sure where I'm at in life where I'm at mentally I'm my life in the direction of my life was going and just how my life was like i i was never supposed to be here like ever supposed to be here i'm supposed to be somewhere living just a regular life just a regular girl doing regular things but god didn't see that for me i don't know how i'm going off on a tangent but that's kind of like where my imposter syndrome comes from for real because i know that i'm not supposed to be here but god said you're supposed to be here so it's just kind of one of the things it's just like it's just like you may not feel like you qualified but if god feel like you qualified then you go with it because i mean who's who's more higher than god you know what i mean so i just have a piece about the situation like i am i'm i'm just i'm upset that all of this is happening but in order to have a testimony, you got to have a test, honey. So, that's what I get from it. Ain't no testimony without the test. And I feel like I've been tested. So, I'm cool. I'm chill. I'm waiting till 10 o'clock. Um, hopefully, they call me before I call them. Because I will be calling no later than 10, 10 a.m. Alright, y'all. It's time to call back. It's 11.01. So, I've let quite a few minutes pass by <sighs> I feel like y'all are here with me so it's making it like easier for me to call because like I just don't want to seem annoying because I keep calling but I gotta get this figured out so here we go I don't really have the power to uh, about to see if he can do anything. 
think, and I can uh, give you a call back, okay? Okay. I feel so defeated because I just really feel like this whole time, like even with trying to find an apartment, not finding nothing I like, love, 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 and then finding this apartment that I really like, and just so much like conflict around this whole process, I feel like I've just been optimistic. And I just, for the life of me, don't understand, like, why things always have to be so difficult. Like, I just, he's basically like, um, he was basically like, um, okay. He was basically like, um, usually when things deny, like, he don't know how like it's it's beyond him it's above him at that point and his manager comes in at 12 and they'll give me a call back but I just feel like it's just been a run around and a run around and a run around like I just I just don't know I'm just this is above me like I really I don't know I really don't. I really, really don't. Be monitored or reported for quality assurance. Good morning. I was calling to see if you all had any tourings available for today. We're not going to sit around and wait to hear back from them. We're going to be productive and we're about to go look at an apartment. Oh yeah, let's find some clothes to put on. Pretty sure this is a horrible angle of me, but I'm just trying to put my um earrings in. <laughs> y'all, y'all probably don't remember this Nike um jacket, but I got this from a thrift store and the day I got this, it's the day I ran into the back of somebody's car leaving a freaking thrift store. <sighs> just girl. Mm -mm -mm. This is the way St. Bart's body cream. My legs are so mushy. Why must y'all see everything I do? Like, why am I trying to get y'all to see me put lotion on my legs? I really like this stuff. It smells so good. Just got on some um Nike biker shorts too. So we're gonna get ready to go. Y'all are going dead. So I'm gonna switch the battery and I'll see y'all in the car. I think I'm just so annoyed with the apartments that I wanna move in to that like messed up the application because I know I'm qualified. Like I'm overqualified and it's just like I feel like they need to fix this because, like I said, I'm overqualified. I don't even, y'all, I'm not even a window shopper. If I know I don't have no money to go into a specific store, I ain't even going in that store. So what makes you think I'm going to sit here and spend my money filling out an application on an apartment you know I know I can't Stay afford? Stay in the right lane. Like, I'm not doing that. I don't get down like that. Like, no. <sighs> but... In the meantime, I am on my way to look at an apartment and I'm looking at another one after this because I just don't know what the future holds for this apartment and how they're going to handle this situation. So I need to make sure I have my stuff together, you know, on my end. So, yeah. I don't know what this whole journey is about. I don't understand why I'm being faced with all these obstacles, but it is what it is, you know. That's the thing about being an adult. You cry about it and you get right back to business. So, yeah, I'll be back. Oh, this ponytail is so tight. Okay, let's turn it off. Okay, so I'm leaving the apartment right now. This apartment will not be um, like an option for me. It was nice, like this. 
it was nice but it's just it's just not what i'm looking for the first one i looked at was really nice that's definitely a contender um he actually told me he would waive everything i mean he said he would waive everything so the application fee for both of us you know all all the fees he said he would waive them so i'm gonna go ahead and apply today because why not i didn't even know the apartment was brand new so y'all know i love that um and it was it was really nice it was different it was it's definitely different but not too different to where i'm like hell no yeah show drive take a left on 14th street northwest y'all i'm about to go to um toast on linux the new one what is today today's wednesday okay they op they're open from honey hot chicken because honey i deserve it at this point i deserve it now i'll probably sit there and apply for this apartment to be honest and i'm just i'm just i don't know I'm, I'm, i was feeling a lot of emotions earlier because i'm human you know <laughs> okay i can go how it is but i'm definitely i'm not going to be mad at continuing what, with driving directions okay i see it right there but i need to figure out where i park at hmm. i'm gonna turn right here they must have like parking in the back or something because it's, it's literally right here let me show y'all I guess it's right here. <clears throat> Where do I park though? Arrive. I'm back y'all. That toast is real intimate. It's not as big as the other one. And the other one really isn't that big either. Um, but they're still just getting acquainted with their new space. They don't sell liquor yet, but the food was still good. Vibes are still there. <sighs> Definitely, if you're okay with um, no liquor, come here because you can still get that great food with not so much hassle. You know what I mean? I sat in there and I did the application for the apartment that I didn't take y'all to. So, and it was such an easy process, y'all. Like, crazy. Oh, I'm back home y'all got a package so we can open that up and I'm gonna get ready to end this vlog because there's no updates <laughs> um as far as the apartment goes that denied me I'm not even like if, if they call back willing to fix everything and blah 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 maybe I would move forward but how I'm feeling right now I just feel like they're giving me the runaround and and, and, it, and it's like I kind of get it from one standpoint. Like you got this person that's calling saying her application has been denied. What more can you do? But I'm telling you what happened. And all I really wanted to do was speak to the person that I was talking to through this application process. Because that person, wherever she is, she knows that this application was being janky from the very beginning. Like she even called me at one point during me doing the application because you see i started and stopped and i stopped because for some reason it wasn't allowing me to like move forward like so i just i applied for the other apartment because i have nothing to lose i like the apartment and it was free um to apply because he did like waive everything so i really have nothing to lose um Um, so yeah, I really have like nothing to lose. I'm just, I'm just stressed, child. I, but I'm, I'm not finna stress. I'm not going to, I'm not finna do all that. My prayer is always the same. I want what God wants for me. Sometimes we don't know what we want. Sometimes we think we know what we want. We don't know what we want. So... That's what I'm going with. I don't know what this package is. It's probably some type of PR. Oh. I, re 
remember them reaching out. I'm excited about this. This makes me happy. It's from um, Mason Margiela. They had that new scent come out. Um, What is it called? What is it called? On a date. So I think they sent that over. Let me show y'all. All right. This is what the box looks like. Super cute. And then... Do I want to... No, I can do some other content with it. Just open it up. It's a whole little situation. What is this? Alright, so what is this? this is, I don't know what this is. And then you have the candle. The on a date candle. And then I also have the on a date, the on a date fragrance, which I'm not gonna open this up because I wanna make some content with this. But thank you so much, man. Calm down. Make some more jello. I'm so excited to have that. Super duper excited to have that. Create some content with that. But as for now, in this shit show that is my life, that's all, folks. I'm going to end this vlog and I have to just keep y'all updated because I don't know. Hey, calm down. Both of y'all. Yeah, I don't know. Pray for me because I'm, I'm stressed, but I will be all right no matter what the outcome is. I'll be okay. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.